Sup guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today I decided to go with HackRank. Uh, to be honest, I don't like HackRank too much. I think they overcomplicate over their explanations. Uh, lead code, I think, goes uh, straight to the point and also, I, anyway, uh, but it is uh, very used platform it, and it does have some good exercises so and this one is a really good one actually they kind of took me quite a long time to 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 get the the concept and, and to understand it and to solve it in a optimal way uh so let's give it a shot all right so this is called count triplets uh and yeah this is called count triplets and you're given an array and you need to find uh, uh, a number of triplets of indices such that the elements at those indices are in geometric progression for a given common ratio R. Uh, first of all, this is wrong because it doesn't ask you for the indices themselves. It does just asks you for, ask you for the count of the number of indices that uh, that adhere for, to this rule. So, uh, so for example, so we have this example here, right? One, four, 16, and 64, and the ratio is four, and he wants a, geomet a triplet with geometric progressions, right? So you have uh, one times four, four, four times four, 16, so there's one, four times four, 16, 16 times four, 64, so there's two. So the, here he says at indices, these ones, but this is not correct. The answer to this one is two. So sorry, hackering. Um, get it right next time. Uh, so the way I solved this problem, and there are a number of ways that people try to solve this. The way I solved this was actually based on these constraints here, where the indices needs to be in order. The array itself, it doesn't say they need to be in order, but the the but they say that the indices need to be in order so because of this i decided to solve this backwards so i iterate over the array only once but i start with the last element and if we take this example here uh i can uh, i can go through what i my line of thought right so let's do this uh R. and here we have our array and we start with the last one so um, first of all we're gonna have to to define a counter uh, to return at the end and what I did also is I also uh, defined a define two maps or dictionaries or whatever you want to call it uh, one to keep the frequency of the numbers and this and the second one to keep the the second uh, uh, the second dictionary is to keep track of the geometric progressions that has already shown up in the in the um, in the array uh, is to to keep track of the pairs of the geometric progressions that have shown up all right uh, and uh, yeah, so let's 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 add the, the boilerplate for this this in here. So we so we have a counter to zero. I'm gonna call numbers my first map, and I'm gonna call pairs my second map uh, for i in reversed array. return counter so this is the boilerplate of our solution uh, and I'm gonna exemplify before I 
program it, I'm going to exemplify my logic over here. Uh, so, so what we do here is that inside this for loop, what we're going to do is that we're going to we have our numbers, right? We have our pairs, and and we have the counter. All right, so the first thing we do here is that we check if the geometric progression for this pair is this number, the our current number is in pairs. There's nothing here, so we move on. Then we check if the, the geometric progression for this number is in numbers. There's nothing here, then we move on, and at the end, what we do is that we always increase the frequency of the number by one and then we move to the second one uh, in here we do the same so we check for the geometric progression of two in pairs there's nothing we check for the geometric progression of two in numbers oh there is oh th we have a four so then we're gonna say that we have found the geometric progression of two uh, and the number of times that we have found this is one right and then we increase the frequency of the current number and we do the same for our third number ha do we have the geometric progression for two in pairs no do we have the geometric progression for two in numbers oh yes we do Oh, okay, so then we're going to add 1 to the geometric progression of 2 in pairs. And then we're going to bump the frequency of 2 by 1. And then we move again. And for 1, do we have the geometric progression for 2 in, for 1 in pairs? One times two, two. Oh, we do. So that means that we can, and that means that we we now are gonna up our counter by the number of pairs that we have for the geometric progression of the current numbers in pairs. So that means that it's two. And it's our last number, but we do this anyway, and we up this the frequency by one, and then we return true, two, which is the answer for this guy, right? Two output two, yeah. And that's pretty much it. And the logic here is that uh, we we keep track of the pairs of the geometric progression for the current numbers, and if we have found the geometric progression for the current number in pairs we know that that number also has a geometric progression and so that means that that's a triplet and the number of times that of pairs that we have there it's the number of times we need to up the counter because we can have repeated numbers like here uh, we can have repeated numbers like here so with that said we just need to program this which is like five literally five lines of code more here so it's f r times i in pairs we up our counter by pairs r r times i if r times i in numbers we we add a pair of the current number to to the this is just so we using a little bit of python here plus the numbers I and after we do this every time we need to bump the numbers I the 
get this one. And that's it. Uh, all test cases passed. And see you guys next time.